Okay, let's turn to the Republicans now. Susie, you know, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not Marco Rubio is considering dropping out. He flatly denies that any conversations along those lines have ever happened. Still, he's getting crushed in his home state. And I got to wonder, do you think he even has a shot in Florida? Could we see a huge surprise come the 15th? It's a great question because is this really his last stand? That's a big question. At first, everyone thought, well, Florida will certainly be it for Marco Rubio. He's not winning anything. He's, he's at the bottom, really, in delegates. And Florida's his home state. He's being clobbered in the polls by Donald Trump, who's ahead of him by double digits. He's even got Rubio, I mean, uh, Ted Cruz, rather, catching up to him in his home state of Florida. So the question really for Rubio is, where does he go from here? Does he drop out now and save face and avoid a catastrophic loss in his own home state? He's not running for Senate again, so his political future is very murky at this point. Or does he stay in and help uh, deny the uh, majority of delegates that Trump would, would need to be become the nominee. There's a question whether he'll be asked to just stay in the race so he can keep picking up delegates somehow. But it's becoming a winner-take-all scenario where that's looking like there's really no reason for him to stay in. So I think really Rubio's days are, are numbered in this race. The polls right now suggest he is not going to win in Florida. In fact, he could face a really devastating defeat. Abby, what's your take on that? Well, you know, Marco Rubio might have an opportunity here to basically set himself up as a fighter. It really looks unlikely that he will win Florida, barring something really dramatic happening in this race. Uh, but if he wants to, to do something after this presidential race, it might be in his best interest not to, to give up before his home state has a chance to vote. Uh, that being said, I mean, there are a lot of downsides to it. If, he, if Marco Rubio is interested in stopping Donald Trump, it might very well be in his best interest to drop out and direct his voters to one of the other two remaining candidates who are not Trump. Uh, that will allow them to have a, a decent chance uh, at getting Florida's delegates. Uh, and this is, uh, we're getting to crunch time for Republicans here. I think many Republicans are thinking very seriously about this. And I think Marco Rubio must be under some of those same pressures as well. All right, Susan Ferriccio from the Washington Examiner and Abby Phillip from the Washington Post. Thank you both. Great discussion. Thank you. Thank you.